do, isn't it? Right then. It looks like it might rain in a minute. But before it does, I want that. Where's the key going? The key goes in there. Oh, can I do both? Ah! I can't do four and that. So, there we go. Pulled that off. I'm going to keep everything underneath. First, this needs a clean. Not the bike, not yet. This needs a clean. So, off we go to the cleaning thing. Cleaning! Yes! Mine's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and yes, yes, that was a whole joke, of course I didn't put it in the bloody microwave, um, that would be just fucking dumb. Anyway, work surface, bin liners, nicely covers it, uh, we've got our mixing pots and stuff, and resins and what have you, and what I've got is this stuff, that's quite old these days. So this is what we call uh, colloidal silica. And what this is, it says adhesive filler there. And what this is, is this is very, ugh, it's toxic to be quite honest. It's very, very finely ground sand, right? This stuff, you don't want to be breathing in this shit and it's as light as anything. And I can see it all coming out now. And it's going bloody everywhere. So I did. Get some masks. I do have a respirator and stuff, but that's not here. Like a tit. But some of these, uh, stop yourself getting a, the, the, the C word. There we go. That'll just stop, hopefully, the smallest the particles getting in. Probably not, but who knows. Um, yeah, so you mix this stuff in a pot with the resin to make a filler, a very lightweight, it's basically, it just turns the resin into, well, like I say, a filler. And what I want to do is I want to fill all these pot marks in. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I also want to lock this in place as well. So this is the bracket for the catch there for the lock. All this can stay exactly the same as it is. I also want to grind off these. So these marks here are from where the staples were. As you can see there on the reverse side where the staples went. I just want to smooth all them out. That's all I want to do. So first, what's this? This is uh, polypropylene. Um, anyway, yeah. So if I get Missander. What's on that? 40 grit. Fuck it, we'll try that first. Get me sander out, my orbital jobby. Get a little buzz with this, see what happens. That's probably really loud. I'll edit the shit out of that, obviously. All I've done, must resume. 
well done is if you can see there as it's just roughed up the surface you can see the shiny 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 it's just keyed it really rough actually which is quite good i like that it hasn't changed the shape of it it's just roughed it up and i want to do the underside as well Wrecking the disc of the pad a bit. Oh, you can't fucking see. Master of Pull Out. It wasn't the master, was it? You fucked up, you moron. So, that's that bit. What I want to do is just wash this down again. Same kind of procedure, just wash it down, actually. Now yes, that's taking the galvanic protection off that section but then this section is going to be balls deep in resin I don't even have to put this mask on anymore really I'll save that for later, that's for the kinky bits later So yeah, I just want to wash all this fucking dust out bits this, It's almost like ABS, it's not, it's polypropylene but all this plastic crap Now that I've Smooth the majority of them bumps out. I say, I've smoothed those bumps. <laughs> Absolutely knocked the head off all of them bumps. And um, the next thing we want to do is the bottom's gonna stay exactly as she is. She's absolutely fine. The top, oh the edges. I wanna get the ed Do I get the edges? Yeah, let's get the edges. Before we move on, let's just get the edges. Right then, so I'm going to just go around with a, um, a Stanley knife or a blade like that and just get rid of the furry edges. I'm not cutting new plastic because if you cut new plastic It'll be just as so shiny. I'm literally just dragging it over the minimal amount of effort. I literally the weight of it in the hand. Just to get rid of the furry bits. There'll always be some furry bits there, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just I like it that way. The furry bits... Well, you don't spit everywhere. The furry bits are... Um, they're going to just take longer to dry. Yeah. 
you could argue actually is that the furry bits will actually help absorb some of the resin which they will but to say that they're not really part of the structure properly means that eh, yeah whatever there's a talking point for the comments Just to get rid of the big furry, you know, it's like when you sand plastic, you get that furry horribleness. There's all the, the cross-link fibres, just turn to curl little strands of bullshit. Right then, so, like I said, I'm going to wash this, and once we wash this, I am going to try to rough up some bits in here, we'll do that a bit next. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Just rough up some more bits and then what we're going to do is we're going to mix some resin and some of this stuff, the cocaine light, because that's what it's fucking like. And we're going to basically just try and pot all of these in. Pot all of these holes in. Uh, and just, you know, try and make them. This one here where my fingers go, I'm going to put some tape over that. I've got, I think I've got some aluminised tape. It's aluminium tape, I think. I hope I brought it with me. Um, if not, I'm just going to have to wing it with some duct tape or something. It'll be fine, not the end of the world. Or a bit of aluminium, maybe some aluminium foil tape down tight. Um, and then up here as well, where this bracket is, I want to basically cement that in. And um, But there are some gaps here and here. Uh, just make sure that it doesn't leak out. But with this stuff mixed together, it's thick as fuck. I do need to just cover that one. Um, but the reason why I want to use this, you know, someone might say, well, why don't you just fill it with car body filler? Car body filler is very brittle. Um, this stuff, it's like the resin. There's a tiny bit of flex to it. You can add additives and stuff. It doesn't need to flex crazy, just a bit, just a tiny bit, you know, and really the resin is a, um, polymer it's a plastic and this is a plastic so the hope for this this stuff's probably quite stable expansion wise but yeah i just want to fill this in all these holes here and then we can start laying some scuff that up and then we can start laying some cloth on it and seeing how that goes right let's get on with it <coughs> Right then, so I'll just give it a, a, a rinse off. So we're gonna have to leave that for the time being. Um, as you can see, she's wet. And uh, these bits that are roughed up are going to take a while to dry because there's a lot of water in the crevices and what have you. But, um, we'll leave that on there to dry. Probably just do, just crack on with the rest tomorrow. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.